Hello, this is Baba from Simply Learn. Welcome to this video on Symmetric Key Cryptography. As per our last video on what is cryptography, you must now have a basic idea of the subject and why it is so vital in today's digital landscape. If you haven't checked out the original video, we highly suggest you to watch that one before proceeding further, the link of which you will find below in the description box. Let's have a look at our plan for the session. We're going to take a small recap on cryptography and understand the types of cryptography and our focus for the day. We then dive into symmetric key cryptography and its working. We learn about the terminology behind private key cryptography. We learn the type of ciphers being used today and the advantages of using symmetric key cryptography. Let's have a small recap before we move ahead. Cryptography is the science of encryption and decryption of data to prevent unauthorized access. Encryption is the process of making the plain text unreadable to any third party which generates the ciphertext. Decryption of process of reversing the encrypted text back to its original readable format that is the plain text. As you can see in the image, the plain text in the example is the word study. The sender uses an encryption key to convert the plain text into ciphertext which will be unreadable to the people who don't have the decryption key. The ciphertext can be a combination of random alphanumeric characters. It is then sent directly to the receiver who then converts the ciphertext back to the plain text, that is the word study, using a decryption key. Depending on the type of cryptography being used, the decryption key can be the same key used for the encryption or it can be completely different. There are two types of encryption in cryptography. Symmetric key cryptography and asymmetric key cryptography. Both of these categories have their pros and cons and differ only by the implementation. Today we are going to focus exclusively on symmetric key cryptography. Let us have a look at its applications in order to understand its importance better. This variant of cryptography is primarily used in banking applications where personally identifiable information needs to be encrypted. With so many aspects of banking moving on to the internet, having a reliable safety net is crucial. Symmetric cryptography helps in detecting bank fraud and boosts the security index of these payment gateways in general. They are also helpful in protecting data that is not in transit and rests on servers and data centers. These centers house a massive amount of data that needs to be encrypted with a fast and efficient algorithm so that when the data needs to be recalled by the respective service, there is the assurance of minor to no delay. While browsing the internet, we need symmetric encryption to browse secure HTTPS websites so that we get an all-around protection. It plays a significant role in verifying website server authenticity, exchanging the necessary encryption keys required and generating a session using those keys to ensure maximum security. This helps us in preventing the rather insecure HTTP website format. So let us understand how symmetric key cryptography works first before moving on to the specific algorithms. Symmetric key cryptography relies on a single key for the encryption and decryption of information. Both the sender and receiver of the message need to have a pre-shared secret key that they will use to convert the plain text into ciphertext and vice versa. As you can see in the image, the key used for encryption is the same key needed for decrypting the message at the other end. The secret key shouldn't be sent along with the ciphertext to the receiver because that would defeat the entire purpose of using cryptography. Key exchange can be done beforehand using other algorithms like the Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol for example. For example, if Paul wants to send a simple message to Jane, they need to have a single encryption key that both of them must keep secret to prevent snooping on by malicious actors. It can be generated by either one of them but must belong to both of them before the messages start flowing. Suppose the message I am ready is converted into cipher text using a specific substitution cipher by Paul. In that case, Jane must also be aware of the substitution shift to decrypt the cipher text once it reaches her. Irrespective of the scenario where someone manages to grab the cipher text mid transit to try and read the message, not having the secret key renders everyone helpless looking to snoop in. The symmetric key algorithms like the data encryption standard have been in use since the 1970s while the popular ones like the AES have become the industry standard today. With the entire architecture of symmetric cryptography depending on the single key being used, 
you can understand why it's of paramount importance to keep it secret on all occasions. The side effect of having a single key for the encryption and decryption is it becomes a single point of failure. Anyone who gets their hand on it can read all the encrypted messages and do so mainly without the knowledge of the sender and the receiver. So it is the priority to keep the encryption and decryption key private at all times. Should it fall into the wrong hands, the third party can send messages to either the sender or the receiver using the same key to encrypt the message. Upon receiving the message and decrypting it with the key, it is impossible to guess its origin. If the sender somehow transmits the secret key along with the ciphertext, anyone can intercept the package and access the information. Consequently, this encryption category is termed private key cryptography since a big part of the data's integrity is riding on the promise that the users can keep the key secret. This terminology contrasts with asymmetric key cryptography which is called public key cryptography because it has two different keys at play, one of which is public. Provided we manage to keep the key secret, we still have to choose what kind of ciphers we want to use to encrypt this information. In symmetric key cryptography, there are broadly two categories of ciphers that we can employ. Let us have a look. Stream ciphers are the algorithms that encrypt basic information one bit at a time. It can change depending on the algorithm being used, but usually it relies on a single bit or byte to do the encryption. This is the relatively quicker alternative considering the algorithm doesn't have to deal with blocks of data at a single time. Every piece of data that goes into the encryption can and needs to be converted into binary format. In stream ciphers, each binary digit is encrypted one after the other. The most popular ones are the RC4, Salsa and Panama. The binary data is passed through an encryption key which is a randomly generated bit stream. Upon passing it through, we receive the ciphertext that can be transferred to the receiver without fear of man-in-the-middle attacks. The binary data can be passed through an algorithmic function. It can have either XOR operations as it is most of the time or any other mathematical calculations that have the singular purpose of scrambling the data. The encryption key is generated using the random bitstream generator and it acts as a supplement in the algorithmic function. The output is in binary form, which is then converted into the decimal or hexadecimal format to give our final ciphertext. On the other hand, block ciphers dissect the raw information into chunks of data of fixed size. The size of these blocks depend on the exact cipher being used. A 128-bit block cipher will break the plain text into blocks of 128-bit each and encrypt those blocks instead of a single digit. Once these blocks are encrypted individually, they are chained together to form a final cipher text. Block ciphers are much slower, but they are more tamper-proof and are used in some of the most widely used algorithms employed today. Just like stream ciphers, the original cipher text is converted into binary format before beginning the process. Once the conversion is complete, the blocks are passed through the encryption algorithm along with the encryption key. This would provide us with the encrypted blocks of binary data. Once these blocks are combined, we get a final binary string. This string is then converted into hexadecimal format to get our ciphertext. Today, the most popular symmetry key algorithms like AES, DES and 3DES are all block cipher methodology subsets. With so many factors coming into play, there are quite a few things symmetry key cryptography excels at while falling short in some other. Symmetry key cryptography is much faster variant when compared to asymmetric key cryptography. There is only one key in play, unlike asymmetric encryption, and this drastically improves calculation speed in the encryption and decryption. Similarly, the performance of symmetric encryption is much more efficient under similar computational limitations. Fewer calculations help in better memory management for the whole system. Bulk amounts of data that need to be encrypted are very well suited for symmetric algorithms. Since they are much quicker, handling large amounts of data is simple and easy to use in servers and data farms. This helps in better latency during data recall and fewer mixed packets. Thanks to its simple single key structure, symmetric key cryptography algorithms are much easier to set up a communication channel with and offer a much more straightforward maintenance duties. Once the secret key is transmitted to both the sender and receiver without any prior mishandling, 
the rest of the system aligns easily and everyday communications becomes easy and secure. If the algorithm is applied as per the documentation, symmetric algorithms are very robust and can encrypt vast amounts of data with very less overhead. Hope you learned something interesting today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.